ground fire with class uh, what we've done is that we have processed our wood and you always separate them so you have your smallest pieces here a little bit bigger a little bit bigger and even bigger still so what we're doing is we're replacing we're going to do it on a micro level in the real fire this would be your big logs or what is called the actual fuel it's called the fuel then you move on down to your smaller pieces which is called what yes not Kindles. that's a book it's an electric book but it's okay and then you get on smaller to these and with our homemade homemade fire starter what is that called the homemade fire. just say the stuff that really get combustible what is that called it starts with a T the tender your tender your kindling yeah. then you have your burning wood and then you also have your fuel which uh, which of course like I said the upside down fire goes different so great mother go ahead and take your logs or fuel mm -hmm and place them all in the same direction but spread them out and as a matter of fact I'm, I'm missing one element hold on one second I'm missing one element excuse me <clears throat> we want to elevate our fires so that we can make sure ouch so that we can make sure uh, that they burn so this starts out here now start laying those crisscross on top of that No, I, they all need to go in the same direction. What you mean? So, mm, so now, so now, if you have, hold this for a second, uh -huh. and I'll record for me, if you would. Uh -huh. So, if you have uh, your elevation here, uh -huh. then you start laying things across this way to keep them up off the direct line. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Mm -hmm. okay. And they all go in, in one the direction. same direction. Yep. Gotcha. Just a little space in between. Okay, gotcha. That way you can get your oxygen uh -huh. going up under there. So now she's put those up there. Yep. Um anybody else unless you want if you no, you know what? Yeah, if, unless somebody else wanna do as I say, because if not this is this would be your project, you know. Uh if not, but whoever else wanna go, get the next big up and then you're gonna go up there and you're going to lay them perpendicular across. Same, you know. Absolutely. Now, yes, now, now, now guess what? But the other day, he told me he left. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Again, we are doing an upside down fire where the biggest goes to the bottom and the smallest at the top. This is unlike your pyramid fire where, the, where it burns from the bottom. The way we set up this fire, it will burn on its own and everything will drop in the middle to make hot coals for you to be able to cook your meals. That's what that is for, for you really be able to cook in this fire. And also the upside down fire will get started when it's wet. If you could just keep the primary, even in the rain, if you can keep the primary water off of it with like a high tarp or cover, the fire will get going. You just have to fan it and you have to have a lot of tender. That's perfect, you can just lay the others up there. Now, Brianna, come and take, she's like, no, not me. <laughs> come and take those. That's, that's enough, you have to get all of them. Come, you're going to also, the last thing, the last thing yes, look. Then you just have your woods and then you have the fire. You have your burning wood. So yes, now she's going to lay these perpendicular. If you see, as you can see, these sticks are smaller still. Getting smaller and smaller. Good job. Now, one one other person, come and get these that are smaller still. Matter of fact, uh, if you get them, let me break them in half. Uh, somebody hold this, please. And get just the smallest ones out here. So this would be starting for your kindling right here. Mm -hmm. Take them all. I'm glad I was able to break that. I would have been really embarrassed about trying to show it in front of y'all women. I couldn't break it. No. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Uh, <laughs> so. <laughs> you better have been able to break it. Better have, yeah. So, and you still break them even still. 
Now, as you see, there was a difference. Some of those were a little bit bigger, so now you're making one more that goes on top. Now I'm gonna take a pause for the calls, and now we're finna get the magic stuff out. Okay. Thank you. So. Whoops. Just in case. Whoops. Uh -huh.